that see right here? Yeah. This area? All right, I'm going to tilt that up just a smidgen. Is that still see here? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys. So um, I want to get you guys kind of moving towards the final draft for this project. So one of the things that I want you guys to be aware of is that the requirement for the sizes of the slabs, right, is in your program document or in the, the project statement. And it says that the, the slabs are going to be 200 feet by 75 feet, right? And that there can be some slabs that are smaller and there can be a couple slabs that are bigger and wider, okay? So what I want to do is I just want to start out by sort of showing you guys what you might end up looking for um, or how you might approach this problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle right here that is 200 by 75, okay? So... Um, Uh, Natalie got the calculator up right there? Yeah. So give me uh, 200 divided by 16. 12.5. So 12.5. All right. So I'm going to draw a rectangle that is 200 feet at 1 16th of an inch to a foot. Okay. And so that is that long. I just did a little math. I took... Um, I took 200 and divided by 16, and I came up with that. Now, take uh, 75 and divide by 16. Four point six, four point seven. Sorry. All right, so four and three quarters. All right, so there, roughly, is the size of the slab. So I'm drawing that, and I, I'm, I'm assuming that the camera is picking this up. Yeah. Yes? Yes. All right. And I want you guys to notice that I'm kind of drawing it out in the, in the middle of space here. I'm leaving room kind of around it for myself. Okay? All right, so that is 75 feet at 1 16th of an inch to a foot by 200 feet. Now, you're not allowed to have parallel edges, right? And you're supposed to have a, Q, a combination of acute and obtuse corners. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of reshape this thing so that it becomes, right, one of those forms that, that we're looking for. So I'm going to kind of take away a portion of this here and add it back in up there. Okay, and so what I took away here from the shape, I'm adding back in up there. So then I'm going to take and add that in. So I've added a little bit here, right? So I've got to kind of add that back in somewhere down in here. So I'm going to... And so that becomes a rough approximation, right, of the same square footage that is in 200 by 75, right? This area here, I added in right there. This area here, I added in a little bit there and some down here, the sliver, and in here. Okay, so that area adds up to there and down in here. So it's about the same size. It's, it's about the same square footage. Okay, so that's going to be one of the slabs that I'll be using, right? And I can make it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller if I need to. Okay, 
But what you guys are going to need to do is you're going to have to have some of these slabs kind of as a reference. So let me go ahead and cut this thing out. So there's there's a piece. Um, so you got to have five. You're going to have to have five levels from top to bottom, right? And they're going to be in 16 foot increments. So you are required to have some spaces that are going to be two and three stories high. So those are going to be in multiples of 16. So I'll I'll show you guys an example from quite a while ago. So here is an example that has one, two, three, four, and a roof. Four levels and a roof. Okay? It's got some areas such as here that are two story tall. All right? And it's got areas such as here and down in here that are one story tall. So it's got a combination of height of spaces. Okay? And that's where having some elements that are smaller and a couple that might be bigger than the required square footage is going to come in. All right? So is there any questions about that? No? So what I'm going to do is in addition to this one, I'm going to make one that's maybe about half that size. So... So that is a little bit less than a little bit less than half as big. Okay. So that's there's two of them. Let me go ahead and cut that out. How many minutes are we at? Eight. So can you warn me when I get to about six and then again when I get to eight? All right, so I'm going to cut that out. So I now have one, two, three, four pieces. I would need to technically have one more, okay? But this allows you to kind of have some levels to kind of start with, all right? So that, that's sort of part one of approaching this thing. So go ahead and stop it.